Once again, we give all the praises and the glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Hasham, Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Hasham, Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Hasham, Yahweh Shai. Hasham Bekar Kwadash, give double honors to our beloved teachers, our apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to our sincere, beloved brothers in sincerity pushing this true gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the hopeful elect. All the praises and all the glory is given to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. Amen. So be true. Um, a few hours ago, I was watching our beloved brother, Amon Abad. And he did a lesson. Feeding the Lord's flock is a critical commandment. Now, Baba Kusha, listen to that beautiful lesson. Listen to that beautiful, humbling lesson. Yeah? Feeding the Lord's flock is a critical commandment. So if I may, brother, beloved brother, I would love to add a word to that. The word role. R-O-L-E. Feeding the Lord's flock is a critical commandment role. All right? So I'm going to name this video Supporting the Brotherhood. What is meant or what is another word for critical role? It says major role. Vital role, crucial function, important job, indispensable role. You're going to look for crucial role, critical function, important function, key role. And the last one here central role this is the center part of our lives the central part of our lives is to love fear and do the work of the Lord our Heavenly Father to be brotherly. Alright. So check out the, the lesson that the beloved brother Amor about did. But I'm going to play a little bit of it. And let it speak for itself. Let the beloved brother speak for himself, you know. Because it's all about supporting one another. Yeah. Some brothers are strong in the faith. Some brothers are weak in the faith. And the brother mentioned it. In his lesson, you know. It's about that love. You know. And I know my beloved brother is not well. And sometimes, you know, I wish I was there to help him. And I know in turn he will help me. I know that. Because that's the love. 
that we should have for one another. All right? And it's very upsetting sometimes when you want to do your best for a brother and you you can't do it. You do what it is to the best of your ability, but you just can't do it. And that is frustrating. So I'm going to play here. Lord willing. I'll play about five minutes. But um, if you could go on. Watch his lesson. As I said before, feeding the Lord's flock is a critical, critical commandment yeah so as the beloved says let's go yeah let's go now let's read that again second timothy two verse one now therefore my son be strong in the grace that is in hamashiach yahushai and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. So this is a part of the mission. <clears throat> is to <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> so a part of the mission is to teach and uplift one another through the spiritual money that we have obtained and gained you hear what the beloved brother said to uplift one another you see we are different from the world we are supposed to help one another support one another uplift one another We should not be selfish in this walk, this role that we are playing out for the Lord, our Heavenly Father, Yahweh and His Son, Yahushai. This is very critical, the role that we are playing. Because Yahushai is going to judge those that have obtained this wealth of knowledge and information and have set on it and that's in Luke 19 that in those first few scriptures and leading up to those are my enemy that shall not that I should reign over them bring hither and slay them is because they mismanage this wealth of information and knowledge well I tell you what to there's a lot of times I, like I said, I pray that I remain in the faith along with my beloved brothers and the sincere sisters and children. We pray that we remain in this faith. All right. Because this is a gift from our Heavenly Father. This is not to be taken lightly. It's because of his love. It's love, you know. And as the brother is going to mention, he might mention it now or later on. It's about the blood of Yahweh Shai Hamashak. He shed his blood for us. And as the brother said, that it's like when you receive this, this gift, it's like you pour in our Heavenly Father's his beloved son's blood on the ground. It's so precious. This is precious. This is precious blood that we are dealing with. Hmm. And did not invest it into the minds of the brotherhood of the brethren. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. 
Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. So many of us are sick, but through faith and prayer, fasting, are still going. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna defend my brother here. The things I've been through, I have to always say thank. I thank the Lord. Sometimes, you know, to do the work for the Lord is we we owe everything to our Heavenly Father. I will say this, the Lord has helped me in a million and one ways, in sicknesses, near death feeling. So I know what it feels like when someone is ill. I know when somebody is sick. I know when brothers are going through pain. Okay? Most of us are sick, so there is no excuse to be sitting back and doing nothing but just watching videos and not taking that money of knowledge or wealth of information and properly apportioning it out to the Lord's flock. <clears throat> now remember, Yahweh Shai died for us. All right? He died for us, for us to gain those riches. And you know, we have to try our best, try our best to please our Heavenly Father, please our Heavenly Father and His beloved Son. Uh, my mind is gone now, Salakia, so because I'm so overwhelmed. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say but I know this is precious now something happened to me recently and I said it's something and I have to always give the glory to our Heavenly Father because without Yahweh Shai HaMashiach through his son, through the father, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, it won't be possible. It won't be possible. Yeah? No man warreth and tangleth himself with the affairs of this life, and he may please him who have chosen him to be a good soldier. So the oh, that sounds beautiful. That sounds so beautiful. The things of this world, all right? And the Lord has taken, removed us from that. The things of this world. So all the Lord is asking us to do is to please him and, and, and you know, pay back. We know we have to pay back for our sins, but also to, to, to please the Lord, to feed the flock. Feeding the Lord's flock is critical commandment. If you love me, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Priority is diligently grinding away. As a faithful servant, a good soldier, enduring the hardness and following the example of Yahweh Shai and the apostles that have been laid before us. Now, listen, endure hardness. Yeah, whatever we're going through, it's all about the endurance. You know about this already. 
sound like a parrot. It's about enjoying hardness. Whatever the Lord puts on us, we just have to try our best to endure. Because Lord willing, if we make it, it's going to be worth it. If we make it, it's going to be worth it. So we have an example and a model by which to follow through their diligence, integrity, sacrifice, and stringent labor. Consistency as well. Let's go to Romans. See, here's this again. Self-denial on behalf of others. So not diligently laboring is exhibiting selfishness and hatred and a disdain for the brotherhood. Most importantly, taken for granted and looking upon Yahweh's blood sacrifice in vain. <clears throat> Romans 15 and 1. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. So it's very easy to sit back and make excuses. My head hurt. I got arthritis. You see, I got fibromyalgia. I'll tell you what, I'm sick. But that doesn't stop the ministry from going forth. Mm, bless you, brother. I was, I, I, sometimes I wish I was there to help you. All right? Sometimes I want to help every brother that is sick. You know why? Because I know what sickness feels like. I know what the pain feels like. And it's always greater pain. The Lord could amplify that to whatever pleases him. But sickness is not nice. Okay. We pray for strength. We pray for understanding. And through our love and prayer and through our integrity, we stand strong. Oh, I, love, I love the way he said that. Love. He said, without our love. Yeah. It's the love. And the faith. And we exhibit that faith through our works. <clears throat> Let every one of us please his neighbor to for his good to edification. So it's all about building. When you go into that word edification, it goes to the root edificio, which means to build. So this is building the Lord's third temple, which is not an endeavor to be looked down upon or to be taken for granted or marginalized. This is not like building a clubhouse in the backyard with some damn plywood, some two by fours, hammer and nails. This is a major global event, an international endeavor that has taken place on the earth in the last days. Wow. Please continue to watch the rest of it. All right. Because we are in the last days. Time is so short. Time is precious. You know, there's a saying in the world, money is time. Time is money. That is the real riches that the Lord our Heavenly Father has given us. To use that time. Use that valuable time which is short. Okay? So support the brotherhood. 
support one another. The sick, you pray for the brothers that are strong and brothers, you pray for the brothers that are weak. That's all it is. There's so much I want to say, but my mind is just racing. It's a hundred and one different things I want to say, you know? But I had to, you know, like, I had to do this video about my our, not even my, is our beloved brother, Amon Abad. And I love all my brothers. I love all my sisters. I love all the children. Yeah. But this, the love the Lord has for us, you know. We cannot take it for granted. We cannot take it for granted. Because the love the Lord has for us and his beloved son is unimaginable. Look at it this way. The way you love yourself. The Lord loves you a thousand times more than how you love your own self. Alright. So. As the beloved brother said, feed the Lord's flock is a critical commandment. Critical. Hope and pray that this is edifying through the spirit of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. All the praises given to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. And um, pray for the, our apostles. Pray for Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Gabar, Elder Apostle Rakar, Elder Apostle Aramlab. Pray for all the elders, all the bishops, all the priests. Yeah. Pray for pray for one another. Okay. We all mess up. We all fall short. Okay. We all fall short. So support one another, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rekar Kodash. I pray that this is edifying. And Salakia for keep on saying this. Salakia for saying this. Love to you all, yeah? With all love. Okay? Shalom.